Hey, this is Adrian Igo. Oh, Adrian Obi. Adrian Igo. Adrian Obi. Of Astrology, a look inside. And um, I'm just coming to chat a little bit. Nothing in particular. Just some. I just felt like I needed to make a quick video and do some quick, you know, just talk about things. Um, I like to journal what's going on with my life and my aha moments especially right now because as I look at where the planets are right now um, I'm well today in particular I'm having a very strong moon day um, I mean I'm not kidding when I say this that this is a very strong moon day um, I'll read these off to you just so that you understand I have moon opposite Neptune today moon square Mercury today Moon trine Uranus today. Moon sextile Chiron today. Moon sextile Jupiter today. Moon square Saturn today. Moon opposite the midheaven today. Moon in the fourth house today. Moon trine Pluto today. Moon trine Sun today. I don't know exactly how to feel about today. It's a very moon day. So I thought I would record what I wanted to say instead of going live. Um, because, you know, on such a moon day, I dare not go live today. I think. <laughs> I, I've danced today live. Uh, you know, I, 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 I wear several hats. And I think this is probably in indicative of me being the person I am with so much Capricorn and uh, Aquarius and whatnot, Saturn. But I have the 21 day dance challenge. So I was working on that earlier today and I made about mm, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 videos and I posted that there. And then I've uh, worked at Astrology a Look Inside on the uh, groups on Facebook. And it looks like I've got about three readings waiting there. And then I thought before I do that, because I've already showered and I'm about to make dinner, I think I'll go and make a video or two just to talk about where the aspects are or how I've been affected by aspects today or around this time period. And so that's what I decided to do. I thought I was going to do it live, but then I thought, no, 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 no. I'll just go ahead and record this because anything could come out of my mouth and I might need to make sure it's all coming out right. I mean, it's the moon. Anything could happen, right? Well, one of the things I did want to say, oh, see, I lost it that fast. It's the moon. I had something in my mind. I was just about to say it and that fast it's gone. Oh, I know what it is. The sun is in my first house because it's at 23 degrees of Aquarius right now. But that's opposing my Mars in the seventh house. So there's this weird opposition going on all over the place um, for me. Because as you saw with the moon, it's opposing my midheaven and my Neptune and all this stuff. And then um, Mercury's not too bad. Mercury's at three degrees of Pisces today. So, um, you know, it's a very nebulous kind of Mercury. Our thinking may or may not be exactly clear, but it will be spiritual. And Venus is at nine degrees of Capricorn. Now that is conjunct my sun. So Venus is on my sun, but it's in the 12th house. It could be contributing to this feeling of nebulousness that I have. Like I just don't feel like I know for sure many things. Mars is at 28 degrees of Aries today, which is a, not a bad place for Mars to be since it's still at home in Aries. I'm sure it's enjoyed its trek in Aries because, oh, that's 29 degrees. Oh, no, it's 28 degrees of Mars. But what I, my eye just caught was 29 degrees of Uranus. That means Mars and Uranus are exactly almost 
conjunct by just a few minutes. Yeah, just just a few minutes. They're almost on top top of each other. So I wonder if that's why I made 10 dance videos today at the 21 day dance challenge because Mars was conjoined Uranus. And what would you do with that much excess energy, that much kinetic energy too, because it's Uranus energy as well as Mars energy. That's the kind of energy you have to burn off. If you find that you need some way to do that, I have low impact uh, dancing at the 21 day dance challenge on Facebook. You're more than invited to go there. <laughs> it's just me and I've got weight to lose. So believe me, I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna be something you can't do. Very, 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 very low impact. Just move into music, that's all. Just enjoy music. Uh, Jupiter is at 19 degrees of Sagittarius today. So, you know, the Saggies have been really enjoying that Jupiter trek through the sun, uh, their sun sign of Sagittarius because it's at home, just like Mars has been at home in Aries. So these two fire signs have really been firing it up for a while. Um, but yeah, 19 degrees of uh, Jupiter uh, in Sag. I don't see anything making any really horrific. Um, well, Neptune is still within striking distance of a square, but it's really separating now. It was really a, a lot deeper last month or earlier in the month, but it's separating. We're pretty much getting out of that orb. Um, Saturn's at 16 degrees of Capricorn, and that sucker is right between my sun and ascendant. <laughs> Saturn, I feel Saturn. And I, you know, what can I say? I'm sure I probably am losing. It's weird. I've got Venus coming up in the rear of Saturn. Like, no, you're not going to lose that weight. You're not going to be skinny. You're not going to get to that 139 pounds that your dream is. Darn that Venus. Although it does make you attractive, but it will make you a little bit greedy. And literally, I had that dichotomy the other night. Last night, in fact. I was right in the middle of my workout. I had danced maybe two or three songs. I was sweaty. I had danced. I put in all the energy. And at that moment, my stomach was so hungry, I could not go any further. So I stopped everything and went and got some beef and mayonnaise and just, you know, ate a couple of slices of beef. I needed something. I needed the protein. I I couldn't go a second longer. It's amazing. I woke up this morning full of energy and I danced, you know, I did 10 videos, but last night, early, it was early in the morning, like five or six. So I just needed to eat and go rest. Sometimes that happens. But Saturn, Saturn will let you know when you need to go rest. And, um, with Saturn on my sun, well, that urge, I listen to my body. And I would encourage anyone with Saturn anywhere near their sun rising sign, listen to that. Like if it's saying, go rest, go rest, put your feet up, put your feet up, eat food, eat food. I need to sleep, go to sleep. Saturn will tell you, but don't overdo it too much because you can hurt yourself with Saturn. I'm talking to myself as well as others. Now, as I mentioned, Uranus is at 29 degrees of uh, Aries. That means it's almost out of Aries, just about. It's about to go back into Taurus. It's been out of retrograde and direct for a while. And so some of the craziness of the Uranus Aries retrograde is starting to be behind us. We're starting to move beyond the craziness now, you know. It's like a distant memory. It's becoming a memory, that, and that's good. As it gets into Taurus, it'll be, fade further and further back into our subconscious minds, and we'll be able to let go whatever havoc that Uranus caused while it's been transiting retrograde in Aries, because that's what happened. Lots of bad decisions. But it's direct now, and so hopefully you'll be able to either correct decisions or make new positive ones. Neptune's at 15 degrees of um, Pisces, and that's actually at home too. We've got a couple of planets at home, and it's 
it's amazing when you see that because that means they're so powerful they're all extra powerful like Jupiter's extra powerful and Mars is extra powerful and Uranus um, excuse me Neptune is extra powerful and so we feel that we really do feel that I have really felt very Neptunian to the point where I went and checked my horoscope and to my utter shock and almost dismay I found out that I have my son progressed in Pisces at 11 degrees no wonder I'm so psychic I had no clue you know it's so funny even when I was doing the readings I always felt like I was talking about myself and I it, and, and no wonder I do because what I talked about in that Pisces reading I advise you all to look at my Pisces reading for February is I was talking to myself really truly I mean it was directed at myself I've got Pisces at 11 degrees it's right smack there and um, my son is there there's actually some several other things there I think Chiron and my son and some other things it's a lot sadder than I thought my life was but it, it explains a great deal and now I know I'm vibrating to Neptune and I'm vibrating to Sat um, to uh, Pisces uh, right now in my life I've progressed into Pisces Pluto is in Capricorn and it's at 21 degrees of Capricorn almost 22 degrees I know Pluto's due to go retrograde soon it always goes back and forth back and forth and uh, it'll be doing that soon but at right now it's direct at 21 degrees and 58 minutes and so you know caps have been powerful we're we're coming into our power one way or another caps you know there might have been some people trying to thwart us coming into our power but what can they do what can anyone do about that really actually circumstances have been set up in such a way that we've been experiencing such painful things in life that it we have only two choices which is to cave in and wither or to gain and grasp our power and we're Capricorns and it's Pluto well damn sure grasping our power that's what we caps do that's what Pluto makes us do we learn to be strong in times when others might not be so strong the node is at 26 degrees and it is retrograding backwards so it is most likely going to make at opposition to Pluto and I, we might as well prepare for that don't know exactly how that's going to affect us but it definitely is going to affect me on a personal level because I've got Pluto in my first house and that north node is in my seventh house and my own north node is at 29 degrees and when the north node hit cancer at 29 degrees my husband left me now it's retrograding I don't know if there's any you know if he wants to talk things out I have not even had a conversation with him and truly I've been not thinking in that direction any longer because it's much too painful to think of it so I'll we'll see how that works out when the opposition actually occurs maybe it'll be that we really do get a divorce and this will be the time when it goes down 29 degrees of Chiron is in Pisces 29 degrees Pisces Chiron now the thing is well we only have Uranus at 29 degrees and we do have Pisces um, excuse me we have Pluto at 21 that's too far but we have the North Node at 26 and that's really not they're about three degrees away not even quite three like two something because of the way it's set up with the minutes so that Chiron is affecting that North Node in Cancer they're both two watery emotional signs or you know aspects this is water on water here I can see people getting emotional over certain things depending on where it's falling in your chart and depending on where you are but it's healing Chiron is healing it's healing just remember that okay it's a healing aspect so even when it hurts it's healing 
me talking about my, my marriage or soon to be not marriage in such a dispassionate way, not in a negative way, but just stepped out outside of that pattern, that relationship, that situation, that hope, that dream, and I'm healing. And so now that relationship is healing in my seventh house. It's healing because I choose to allow it to heal. It's what I give to myself is healing. So I can move on to my next partner and be good to him and treat him well. If I hold on to the pain, well, I won't be able to give. And I'm almost positive Chiron falls in my second house and the North Node is falling in my seventh house. So learning how to give, right? In my partnership, I see how that's happening. In your charts, it could fall anywhere, but I would take a look and see what that trine is doing in your in your chart. So this has been my take of the planets, where the planets are. Today is the 11th of February, which is three days away from Valentine's Day. And the crazy thing is, today is the day that I took off my wedding band. I just used the this ring here you know, for a ring. So strange that this would happen so close to Valentine's Day. But I'm, I, I've am i had moments, I thought, where I could possibly communicate with my ex, but he chooses not to. And I realized down that whatever that man is doing inside of himself internally has nothing to do with me. I need to remove myself from any situation involving someone who cannot communicate to me with me as a human as a person so um, you might come into certain realities like that during this time you know it's one of those things and it's not a bad thing perhaps he just can't speak with me but that's fine I need to do what's right for myself because I know what my truth is and I have a feeling my truth differs greatly from his so you know with Jupiter in, in Sagittarius that kind of mindset where my truth versus their truth or his truth or her truth that could really be coming into play um, because Jupiter's at 19 degrees of Sag always has to do with belief systems and dogma very much so and the sun is in Aquarius right now at 19 degrees. They're technically making a sextile to each other. And Aquarius tends to be, think on a very broad scale as well. Almost kind of like a brotherly love type of thing. More like a general um, aesthetic that instead of like, it's more macro than micro. So, uh, you know, instead of focusing or hyper-focusing on one person or one situation or one relationship, there's more of a general feeling and vibe over overall right now, I think for many people. And, uh, and getting to the root causes of things, I think, with that Jupiter and Sag, they love to just know the truth. And I think that's pretty much what it's just getting down to the truth. Finding out what the truth is getting to the bottom of things that's important right now but yeah my the big thing hitting my eye even now is that mars and uranus conjoined each other in aries and square that north node in cancer so that you know perhaps right now with me making these videos and talking and communicating about my my truth um, you know it could possibly create some issues with the Mars and Uranus and Aries so I I mean I'm aware of that and I but I still reserve the right to speak the truth and I hope that all of you are speaking your truths so I'm gonna go ahead and end it with this I did, for some reason 
I wanted to make a video and I forget what it was I originally wanted to say because once I started looking at where the current planets were it really just kind of took my mind into the place of where those planets are and what is happening right now and in the sky now I personally live in Seattle Washington where we're experiencing what is being called snowmageddon um, it's been snowing all day and the forecast is snow every single day this week and I'm very concerned about everything <laughs> so I just wanted to make this video because who knows you know what might happen um, in snowmageddon but much love and light to you all may you have a wonderful and beautiful Valentine's Day and spread love and light and sunshine to all you meet. Namaste.